So the first thing we're looking at is where is the function continuous? So looking at that graph of f, looking for no jumps in the graph, no holes, and no asymptotes. So we look at the graph and we're looking for any jumps, holes, or asymptotes, and that's where the function is not going to be continuous. So at x is equal to 4, we can see there's going to be a jump in the graph. So our function is continuous from negative infinity until 4 union 4 to infinity. Now we're going to look at the intervals in which the function is differentiable. Differentiable means we're looking for three things. No discontinuities, so that means no holes, no jumps, or asymptotes. Second thing we'll be looking for is there's no sharp turns. No sudden change in the slopes of the curve. And the third thing we'll look for is no vertical tangent lines. I want to make sure that we don't have any tangent lines that have a slope of that is undefined. So at x is equal to negative 3, we can see there's a sharp turn there. Also at approximately x is equal to 12, we have another sharp turn in the graph. And at about 18, we could draw in a vertical tangent line. So the intervals in which the function is differentiable is from negative infinity until negative 3 where the sharp turn occurs, union from negative 3 until 4 where the jump is at, union from 4 till 12 where approximately that next sharp turn occurs, then from 12 to 18, 18 is the vertical tangent line, and then again from 18 to infinity or the end of the graph which might be interpreted as 20. So now we have all those different places where the function is not differentiable. Now we have to say the reasons why. So it is x equals 4. The function is not differentiable because the limit as we approach 4 from the left of the function is not equal to the limit as we approach 4 from the right of the function. So the two limits from the two sides of the function do not exist. Therefore, it creates a jump. Then at x is equal to negative 3, we have that sharp turn, so the limit from the left of negative 3's derivative is not equal to the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the right of the function's derivative. Again, that's the way the notation to use to refer to the sharp turn. So the slopes on the left and the slopes on the right are not equal to each other. Same thing at x is equal to 12, again that sharp turn that's going on, so the limit as x approaches 12 from the left of the derivative is not equal to the limit as x approaches 12 from the right of f prime of x. And the slope from the left of 12 and the slope from the right of 12 are not equal to each other, creating that sharp turn. And the last part, the last x value where f is not differentiable is that x is equal to 18. At x equals 18, we have that vertical tangent line. So that means that the slope at 18 does not exist, which creates that vertical tangent line. So f prime of 18 does not exist. Think of also as f prime of 18 is approaching infinity. 